So I'm playing a dangerous game because I am giving the initial video review of my wife's new uh, Angus trim designed Kingston Arms Type 14 sword. Um, so we got this yesterday and uh, you know did a little bit of cutting with it, but other than that it's more or less fresh out of the box. So I thought I would talk about it a little bit. Um, so uh, these swords are uh, designed by Angus Trim and then manufactured by Kingston Arms. Um, and I, I really like what, they, what they've done with it here. Um, just to go over some of the numbers, uh, this example is a smidge over 34 inches in overall length. Um, the blade length, which I forgot to measure because I'm an idiot, uh, comes in at uh, 28 inches. Um, so, uh, basically like, you know, uh, the point of balance on this sword is just under six inches. I, I would say like five, five and three fourths inches, uh, from, from the cross guard here. Um, or actually from, from the top of the hilt, um, a little bit shorter from the top of the cross guard. But, you know, since your hand is down here, I figured it'd be more useful to do from, uh, you know, from where the hilt actually starts rather than. Uh, from the top of the cross guard because you can see this has this little projection here so that's uh, a little bit deceptive um you know it the overall weight is uh i think two pounds three ounces uh, off the top of my head is what i got for this one um i really like the the geometry uh of this blade here uh it has like the fuller going about three-fourths of the way down uh, and then a diamond cross section for the rest of it um and i you know like the fuller is really nicely done. The diamond, the diamond cross section, all of the lines look like pretty clean. Um, I don't see like any major like wobbles or defects or anything, uh, you know, that distracts from the aesthetics of the sword. Uh, and one thing I really like is I really like this point here. I mean, that just looks like wicked, um, especially compared to my older Angus trim sword where the point is not nearly uh, as defined as this. Um, I think like. The, the edge, we, we did not get the sharpening service from Cult of Athena, so it's just the factory edge. Um, and, you know, like, like yes, there is an edge to it, um, but it's not, a very, it's not a very sharp edge. I can kind of, you know, gently rub my fingers up and down it, and I'm, I'm not going to get cut. If I applied pressure and drove, then, yeah, it will probably cut me. But, uh, you know, I, I think for, for cutting purposes, this definitely needs to be touched up. Um, one thing I do want to comment on is this seam where they've, where they've uh, you know, I guess this seam running down the grip here. I'm not really a big fan of that when it's facing my hand. I can kind of feel it rubbing uh, on the webbing of my thumb and it's not a very pleasant feeling. However, if I flip it around the other way, um, where it's towards my finger side, then, you know, it's, it's much more comfortable that way. Um, you know, so just a, just a little, a little something to be aware of. Um, the pommel is a wheel pommel. Uh, it's peened. And the painting is, you know, a little rough, but, you know, not too bad. You know, it's, it's, it's what you would expect for a $360 sword. Um, so, yeah, over, overall, I, I really like this. I'm looking forward to putting a bit more of an edge on it uh, and doing some serious text, test cutting. Um, and, yeah, that's my, that's my overall impression. So, cheers.